Welcome to the episode of Jay Leno's Book Club. Remember, no weight loss, no self-help, just stuff that rolls, explodes, and makes noise. Now, you might remember this gentleman, this is Pat Gannell. He wrote a book called Lost Hot Rods, and uh, we did a, a piece on it. And it was so popular, it did so well, they've got Lost Hot Rods, too. And what he does is he's a historian, a archaeologist, hot rod archaeologist. Well, actually, I'm the one who coined that term. Yeah, well, there you go. He coined the term. So they even coined the term. He's, yes. a, he's a coin termer. <laughs> so, but he, what he does is, uh, you grew up here. Yes. And, I mean. you know, he saw a lot of these hot rods first time around. And as you mentioned, they get put in uh, garages and barns and whatnot. And you seek them out, and you know it's great reading. It's a it, the first book was fantastic. They're great stories. Uh, tell us about this one. These are obviously more of the same, isn't it? As soon as I started the first book, if if you find one of these things, right, the person says, "Oh, if you're looking for these, there's another one. My brother has this one, yeah. and my you know there's this one over here in the garage next door." Now he also for years was the editor of Hot Rod or Rodder's Journal. Sorry, uh, and that, that's your car in the cover there, isn't it? Yeah, it was my son's car when yeah. he drove it to high school, and I sort of inherited it from him and rebuilt it. And there's a picture of you guys. <laughs> yeah, there. Oh, there you go. There you go. That's, that's your 32. Yeah, we're driving yeah. up from L.A. to San Francisco. The uh, Steve Coonan, the, the publisher, editor of this thing, says, uh, well, could you bring those cars up to our studio? And I said, well, I could bring one of them, but yeah. not both. Right. <laughs> well, you know, Pat is a real historian. He's got an archive of, what, 40,000, 50,000 images? 30, 40,000, yeah. Yeah, pretty amazing. And, mm -hmm. you know, it, it's, it's great that there are people like Pat that save this sort of stuff for the next generation because there's always been a generation of where it had no value and people just threw things away, you know, Literally. especially old magazines, photographs, oh, yes. that's a picture of that car, whatever, you know. And uh, so it's fun all of a sudden. That's what we Americans do, you know. You go to Europe and people save everything. I remember I was over there staying in my aunt's house and the vicar came over and he said, oh, you like motorcycles? He goes, I've got a Honda. I've got a 1964 Honda, I think it was a 150. And I said, oh, when did you get that? He goes, oh, I bought it new. And he's had it for 40 years. And that's, sure, is, sure. he's the, the church vicar and he, he drives this little Honda because they take care of things. We Americans, you know, we, we have cars, we cherish them and then uh, we, we tend to throw them away or stick them in a garage or something. Yeah. Uh, not so much with hot rods, but it, I mean, but with, you know, 65 Mustangs, things of that nature, you know. Right, but, but even the hot rods, you think of who won America's Most Beautiful Roadster five years ago, ten years ago, mm -hmm. where did they go? Yeah. And there's a chapter in there called uh, Recently Departed. Yeah. And uh, it, it's amazing tracking those down, too. And it's fun because you get to see the different eras. Mm -hmm. I mean, I grew up in the 60s when hot rods look like that. You had yeah. white walls. You had the reverse moon, you had the moon hubcaps on them. The baby moons. Yeah, yeah, the baby moons on but, it. But look at the picture of the girl with the bathing suit. Yeah, yeah, look and, at it. Yeah, and, that's a... And this was one of the first photographers who popularized this in Hot Rod yeah, magazine, yeah. Tony Spicola yeah. from Colorado. And uh, I just loved his photography. It was a, well, see, here's a picture that really sums up what it's all about. The kind of old weathered garage. You know, yep. you drive down the street, you see a garage like that, you have no idea what's in there. And as you can see, there's a beautifully restored hot rod on one side and some kind of half-finished, forgotten project on the other side. Right. And that's really what it's all about. Now, tell me about this. Yeah, I remember when hot rods look like this. They just don't, they just don't look like this well, anymore. Not very many look like this one with two, en two pine yeah, engines. Yeah, with the two engines, yeah, yeah. And two Jaguar independent rear ends. But it's sort of... But had a Dean Jeffries kind of look to it a little bit here well, in the design. Exactly, but uh, Jeffries wasn't involved in this no, one. No, no. It was of yeah. that era. Right. And this one, America's Most Beautiful Roadster, twice. Wow. And you got dragsters in there, too. Yeah, we have one little chapter on race cars. Right. But, uh, well, the fun thing is, each car is its own chapter. At, you know, its so, own story, yeah. So you kind of sit down and you can read a story. And read another one if you want, yeah. or another one if you want, or just yeah. read one. I mean, that's kind of the fun. This is the kind of stuff I read before I go to bed every night. I'm one of the, I can't get in bed and just go to sleep. I got to grab something, and I'll read a chapter or two and, and follow the story. And the fun thing is, you always find something familiar 
you know a guy or you heard of that guy or it came or, from somewhere or near you. Or you saw it in a magazine yeah. back in the day. Yeah. And uh, where can they get this? They get it at Auto Books on Magnolia, as we always said. Can they get it directly from you? Do you have a website? No. Okay. No. But they, I, I write them. I don't sell them. Oh, okay. I don't know so, about so if you type, in, <laughs> you type in the name, it'll come up for Amazon or whatever, right? Eh? It, it'll come up on Amazon. Yeah. Uh, if you, as a matter of fact, I'm going to be doing a signing at Auto Books on December 1st. Oh, okay. Uh, and some of the cars from the book are going to be there, four or five of them. Well, I'm going to get them to sign and, mine right now. Well, and if you want to get a signed copy, uh, Auto Books will actually have me sign it and send it to them because oh, I cool. live near here. Very good. But otherwise, uh, the publisher is called Car Tech Books. Okay. And they can go to that website. Great. And it's in all the Barnes and Nobles. Great. Pat, thanks a lot. Oh, thanks. Congratulations. Thanks a million for And I'm going to wait here. for Hot Rods 3. I know it's coming. Uh, there's plenty oh, left. There's plenty left. There's plenty right. left. <laughs>